Hello fellow Simmers, it's Samuel Beeman of BLS here and I'm joined today by Daniel Wyatt and Sam Arner and the staff of the Watlington Light Railway. Say hello everybody, introduce yourself. Hello. <laughs> Good day. Hi. Hello. Yeah, so today we've got a really special exclusive video today because uh, they're showing off uh, not only their game but their new castle class model as well which was built in CSG and uh, it looks absolutely stunning I must say. Um, so guys, do you want to elaborate a little bit like uh, want to talk about the game and about the locomotive and stuff? Alright, so I'll start with the game seeing as myself and Jacob here, we started it. Yes. Um, so it was it's completely fictional it designed on a small basically supposed to be a great western branch line that was built was built and used to be you know part of the national network it then during during its time period had a colliery built and that was extended then down to join off watlington and since then uh preservation happened it's uh, been preserved and obviously it's now got a mainline connection as you can see you now stood on the main line next to the castle so you'll be running today's Excursion off the main line. Um, Jacob, do you want to say anything? Seeing as you've done most of the scenery and most of the law. I'm very tired. He doesn't pay me enough. I'm kidding. No, it's, it's been fun working on it, and obviously it's nice to see stuff running. That's it. Right, Dan, do you want to say your piece on, well, the, um, on the engines? Well, yeah, I'll, well, first of all, this isn't the first castle that, we've, that I've built. This is, I think, the third of that I've actually built. The first one I built two two odd years ago and it was I didn't didn't have a tape board or anything. It was just it was really it was it wasn't that great. And then I think it was last year I built one but for like a six stud gauge which it looked alright but and then me and then George DM me after I'd seen the double header castles on the main line said oh why don't we make a castle in roblox and so we did and it, if this is how it turned out yes. only took about a week maybe two and then a month of me scripting it brilliant wow. i've got to say you've done a really good <laughs> from first impressions looking at the model you've done a really good job also we're just going to ignore the absolute atrocity which is going on right now uh yeah i'm I mean, I'm a big Great Western lover myself. I love everything Great Western, castles, kings, stars, halls. And, you know, I'm looking forward to hearing it. I'm looking forward to seeing it in motion, seeing what it's actually like. And, yeah, but from first impressions, I think you guys have done a pretty good pretty good job. Thank you. The performance Thank comes you. with the ticket, by the way. Uh, <laughs> okay. So let's have a little look round the castle. So it, it does... It, guys, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. You've done a really good job of it. Like it does look Bo really smart. Bogey wheels seem to be correct, correct width and correct thickness. They seem really nice. I like the bogey detail as well. We've also got an opening you and know, closing smoke box door. I see you've just opened there. You've opened a smoke box door. That's brilliant. It's also also it's got you have to click one of the handles and then oh, click the other yeah. to lock it as well. Oh, fantastic! I mean, if you open it back up. I don't know how this works. Oh, 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 oh. Unlock the first one, open the door. The beaming if you want to come up here with me. Oh, yeah, so an interior. You guys can you guys can see there's tubes in the back. I'm assuming you guys are gonna add the blast pipe at some point. Uh at some point, yes. Some point, yeah. So I'm assuming you're gonna do the correct versions, so you're gonna have the ones where it's a double chimney blast pipe as well as a single chimney. Yeah. I assume you're gonna do that. Yeah. Looks pretty good, detail. I like how you can see the tubes. That's not something that you mainly see in Roblox. You don't really see it in Train Sim either. I think the only thing that I've seen it in Train Sim with is the uh, Bossman Games Black Fives, I think. But that's the only one that I've actually seen. Yeah, Black yeah. Fives have it. Yeah, the, the proportions look correct. From being inside a Form Breeze boiler, I can, I can see some kind of resemblance. Yeah. We've got all the rivets and stuff around as well, which look really nice. Yeah. We've also got, um, yeah, so the, but the, I don't know, these bogies here, you see these, um, the spokes, uh, are these, because obviously I see there's a lot of spokes here, are they, are they accurate or are they, are they meant to be less spokes yeah. on there? From from what I can tell from what I've seen of castles and anything Great Western really, they do seem to be accurate. I'd have to look at a picture, but, you know, 
first glance, it does look quite good. I like the bogey detail as well. Beaming, if you look in the inside, it's actually not a complete rectangle. It's um, it's got it's hollowed out in the inside, and it's got the correct, uh, it's got the pin coming down from the frames for the bogey. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Yeah, I That's see actually that. done pretty well. You can also see they've got the brake rigging. Uh, if you look on the inside, it's actually brake rigging. So, guys, the brake rigging is the there's like behind the bogey wheel, there's a black bar. From what I can see, and that looks pretty good. Uh, yeah, you can even you can see it on the outside as well. Um, moving around to the motion, everything seems to be correct. It looks like a good representation of Stevenson's. I think Castles had, or was it Woolsharts? Uh, inside Woolsharts. Inside yeah. Woolsharts. Yeah. Crosshead detail looks quite good, as well as the crosshead bar. Uh, also it's got... just been mentioned that it does have inside work in valve gear, so. It's I can li limited. It doesn't have the actual valves, but it's got inside the inside crossheads and the yeah, connecting rods. Keep my camera in. I can see that. That looks quite looks quite detailed and accurate. I mean, I've never actually seen the inside of Formbury's frames because, well, it, it was never yeah. completed enough. But from when I've been inside of Wiverslack, and I know it has quite a sim. Obviously, that's two cylinder, but it yeah. has similar similar kind of design. That looks quite good. Cylinder detail looks quite good. Got 3D nameplates as well, which look really nice. Yeah, so this is 7007 Great Western. So this is a BR built one, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, I think. I believe so. Yeah, I think it is a BR, BR built one. Yeah. It was also it's also a one that was scrapped, but we decided yeah. to it, it well, in it's your got the, it's yeah. yeah, it's got the name, so it's your cannon, you know, it's your railway. Yeah. You know, we, we do the same things in train simulator, you know, we, we we have our own locos and everything like that, so that's more than acceptable. And Dan yeah. Dan, so so was it Dan, Dan, did you make this model? Uh I made the majority of the actual loco. George did the tender. So it's a right, group yeah. project. Fair, fair. One yeah, so, so it, oh, well something just happened there. It went strange, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. I think someone um, just clicked the respawn button. So, so if anyone is unaware, uh, obviously Dan is the sapling which we saw on our transport tech video. Uh, he was yes, he was indeed. there on the stand, and you'll probably remember seeing this model at the transport tech um, event. But it wasn't it wasn't this one, was it? It was Earl of Mount Enchcombe and um, Enchcombe, yeah, and, yeah, um, and Dennis, Five Castle, Dennis Castle, yeah. So t two d slightly different castles, weren't they, compared yeah. to this one? Yeah, with Pendennis Castle being very much similar, but it's in Great Western livery, and Earl of Mount Edgecombe has the um, Hawksworth tender. Yeah, yeah, but I, I say we was we was pretty impressed with it, weren't we, guys? When we when we saw it, uh, yeah, the from the screen, from right. from when I was walking around trying to, because obviously I wasn't with you guys. But when I saw it, it did look quite promising, and yeah, from from at train tech. Obviously, it wasn't running, but from what what I could see, I thought, you know, this this game's got potential. You know, these guys know what they're doing; they know their stuff. I mean, I love the detail on the cab. You've got all the rivets, and also I love the uh, I love the um, I love the drivers, the drivers, um, the drivers' name on the side. Uh, yeah. Beeman, Beeman, do you want to have a look at what it says? If you come around the other side, yeah, yeah, I'll have a look. So do you see where the number plate? Do you see where the number plate is, and you've got the red dot for loading gauge? Yes. Can you see what it says? It says, "Is that BLS Sam?" Yeah. Brilliant. From what I can see, it's BLS Sam. Yeah, so Sam, look, yeah. Sam, you're you're already, you're already in you already in the game. I'm in the game. That is, I'm in the game. Look at that. <laughs> right. So you um, need to check out the other side as well. Yeah. So we'll have a look at the tender as well. So this is a Great Western four thousand gallon collet tender. Yes. Uh, looking at the back, seems to have all the appropriate details. So, Beeman, if you want to come over here. So, on the right-hand side, we've got the steam heat, which I can tell you're an absolute nightmare to work with on Western Locos in real life. Although on Hawksworth tenders are a bit nicer, as opposed to Collets. Uh, you've got the screw and coupling. Looks quite good. Uh, got vacuum, vacuum pipe on the left-hand side. Uh, anyone that 
is a preserved railway volunteer. Narrow gauge or standard will know that vacuum bot vacuum pipe bags are an absolute pain to do. Yes. <laughs> uh, buffers seem in proportion. They look quite good. I like the uh, detail on top of them where you got the steps for when you're climbing onto the top of the um where you're climbing onto the top of the tender. Uh there's rivets around the around the buffer casing, which look quite good. Uh you can see the lamps. I assume yeah you can set the lamps on the back of the tender as well. Correctly correctly modelled lamps as well because they're um Western style lamps so they've got the bracket on the side. Yes. Mm -hmm. Which is quite interesting. Uh all the steps look correct. We've even got a builder's plate it seems on the back. There's nothing on there yet, but I'm assuming you guys are gonna put something on there at some point. Yes, at some point. I'm assuming that's the plan. So if we move around to the side of the tender, uh has anyone got a torch they can shine? It looks it looks really good in this light, I'm not gonna the, the uh, delivery, delivery is pretty spot on, to be fair. Yeah, you can see all the spring date. Uh, sorry, guys, and the spring detail seems to be present. That looks quite good. Uh, you can see the axle box covers; they look quite good as well. You know, this is attention to detail. Most people wouldn't go into this kind of detail, but these guys have done really well, and you know, they've they've put a lot of effort into it. It seems. Yeah. Uh, also, if if you look underneath as well, there's the water scoop. Oh, have you actually? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I see it. so beaming, here it. you go. Yeah. There it is, look at that. The water scoop is under there. Yeah. So if any of you... Yeah. So for any of our viewers, if you guys have the ex Kings Weir Riviera and the 50s route for train simulator, uh, there is some troughs near Exminster in one of the scenarios, and it tells you to put the water scoop down. Uh, that is what that is what it uses. That's what is used on the actual locos. Uh yeah, it doesn't work on this specific model, though. That, obviously, that's a that's something you're going to do at some point, and it's yeah. not it's not a deal breaker. Yeah. Uh, moving into the side of the tender, the crest looks really high quality. That looks really good. The colours, I've got to say, look pretty accurate. It's got the nice yeah. shine to it. Uh, all the rivets seem to be there. The lining looks good. Uh, also, you got the lip at the top, which is quite accurate. Uh, I mean, I've not really been around Collet Tenders too much. I've only ever really been about around Hawksworths. But from what I've seen of Collet Tenders, this does look pretty good. Uh, steps seem pretty good. So, yeah, the, from what I can see, actually, the Hawksworth and the Collet Tenders have very similar frames. Yeah. Because this looks a lot like Weaver Slack's 4,000 gallon. Uh, right. Under frames, uh, yes. steps are accurately modelled. And this only uh, took you a few weeks to make this model as well. That's yeah, these yeah really impressive. These, yeah, exactly. These guys have you guys work fast, and I'm, I'm a bit jealous to be honest because I wish I was yeah. fast. You yeah. know, a month, a month to make this, and the attention yeah. to detail as well. Um, and the bit that took the longest on this was the scripting on it to about actually oh, yeah. make the driving side of it, which, as far as we're aware is probably one of the most realistic steam driving systems in roblox well we'll have to we'll have to have a look at that and we'll have to when yeah. we take it out for us when we take it out for a run we'll have to um we'll have to have a look looking in between the tender and the loco i see the draw bar is present as well as the water feed pipes for the injectors mm -hmm. uh yeah i'm Notice there's no injector detail yet. I'm assuming you guys are going to have that yeah. later date. Yeah, that's a later date. Yeah. From, yeah, honestly, having, having a look around this entire model, yeah, you guys have done pretty well. I don't actually think I can say anything bad. I don't actually think there's anything I can pick up on. Yeah, I mean, yeah? It, I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed with it. As I say, it, it, was, I it, it was something that, that interested... Uh, me, Sam, and Lewis at, tr at Transport Tech. Um, it was it was it was one of the things that just made us think. Oh, look, a castle! We've got to go and have a look at that. You know, exactly. Mr. Arno, have you got anything to say on it? Uh, honestly, I think you've summed it up quite well. There Everything we you you expect to be there is there, or is going to be there, and it's it's of exceptional quality. 
I've just noticed something. I've noticed. That, the... I've noticed that one of the the nameplate on this side says BLS Lewis, and unfortunately Lewis isn't here right now, which is a shame. But hey ho. One thing there I is have his noticed. Name. There is BLS Lewis. There he is. Look. <laughs> so on top of the um, on top of the crank for one of the coupling rods, uh, there's a little oil filler cap. Yeah. So there is. Little cork oil. That is. That's attention to detail. I've never seen that done. Only thing I've seen that done is on like Bossman Games, Caledonia Works stuff in train sim. So you know, to go to that level of detail is. I assume you guys must have got several hundred pictures or whatnot of actual castles in real life, and yeah. you know, gone gone to town with you know looking at looking at references. Uh, yeah, I can also see in between the frames. There's actually a hole, which I believe is actually there in real life. Yes, from what from what you can tell. Well, yeah, yes. that's so. I'm assuming you looked at George. I'm assuming you looked at either five zero four three or seven zero two nine for a lot of this. Pen Dennis mainly, yeah. Well, it would it would make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Was, sure. Go on. Also, also, when we were part way through making this as well, I I had a visit to Didcot whilst and when Pen after Pen Dennis had just got back there. Yeah, and I I took quite a few references, and also of our next project, the King. Aha, uh -huh. that should well, be interesting. Luckily, with the King, you'll be able to use, reuse parts off this. Yeah, so, you know. yeah. So far, it's um, just a boiler. Um, just a couple of things. No doubt, it's in the uh, just they're not present just yet pile. Um. Num just first is is the splashes. If I'm not mistaken, they're lined. Yes, they are. Like, like I say, I assume that's just because it's coming later. Yes. And also brain slash cylinder cocks. They. Yeah, we haven't done the pipe, the actual, the actual grass bits for it just yet. Yeah. But. Like so I assume. It's yeah. just, well, considering the fact that all of this was, was only a couple of weeks, it makes sense. There's still something. I mean, what you've got in front of us is incredible. Yeah. yeah. But as you'll see a bit later when you when it's all moving, it's got working oscillating cylinder cocks. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That'll be excellent. There's, there's some things in trains in that don't even do that. Yeah. That's awesome. Anyway, uh, you can George... tell that a lot of care was put into this. Yeah. Right. Anyway, should George... we should we hop up to the to the cab because we haven't had a yeah because George did yet. mention yeah. that. Right. Let's hop up to the cab now. Right. So here we are in the cab, and it's it it, it does look pretty all right to be fair. I'm I'm guessing this is uh, still a work in progress in here. <laughs> yeah, you haven't yes. yet done it. But I do love how you've actually got the gauges and they've actually got all the numbers and stuff on it as well. Yeah. Which look really smart. Yeah, I'm liking the back end yeah, detail so far. Go on, sorry. But yeah, no, I was just saying that, that the gauges were by me. Um, yeah, they look, Ollie, Ollie made they look really good. Ollie, ages ago. Mm -hmm. Ollie and Ollie, I've seen a bit of your progress. Um, in Golden Age development, so you learning Blender and everything, and you you're doing really well at the moment, man. You know, you've you've upped your game massively, and I you've think. learned a lot in the space of what you've been learning it for about. A year, probably less than that, something like that. Yeah, not far off. Yeah. Looking at the train break, uh, <laughs> looks pretty good. I'm assuming. Oh wait, no, I was going to say I'm assuming you're going to add the lubricator, but it's already there. So yeah. that's actually these are a pain to work with in real life, by the way. Yeah, they yeah. Are. We yeah. took with us in doing Blender a lot longer than a year. Wow. We took um we took sixty nine ninety out on a diner at the Great Central and um. The leftmost lubricator where the oil drips down, um, we were having issues with that. And that was a faff to that was a faff to get working, but I know. I I I see that looks pretty accurate. Uh verse looks pretty good. I'm assuming you guys are gonna add the numbering on the top where also with the with the uh the bar no, is it the bar that moves across and it tells yeah. you which part of the I'm only going off a hauled cab here, but I know they're yeah, all pretty similar. It, they're very, yeah, it's the same pretty much. So but we yeah, got the, that is on the on the cards. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, this is the good thing with Great Western. You know, you'll be able to use this for the Kings. If you do a haul, you'll be able to use parts office for a haul. 
Yeah. Uh, I like how you've got the train brake lever here. That's pretty cool. As well as the, we've got the large ejector and the uh, small at the top. Yeah. Also got all the injector pipes and the blower as well. Looks pretty good. We've got a speedo down here. Is it ATC or AWS that you've got fitted to this? Uh, this would be, that's ATC because AWS ATC. would have the sunflower on it. Right, yes. Which we are uh, at the moment isn't modelled quite yet. <laughs> Well, you know, you know, as George just says, most of the most of this cab at the moment is working. As in, do you mean working? Because if you're saying work in progress, then I've got to admit, you guys are doing. No, he when he, he says when he works, he means like a, pretty much oh. most of it moves. Bloody hell! So the regulator and everything moves, and reverser moves, and everything. nah, yes, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I, I water can gauges show go you down. If I... If I jump in this seat, you can see the regulator moving. Oh, there. snap, Beeman! Oh, look that, at that. That is very cool. That Ooh, is very fabulous. Cool. You have, you haven't Break. seen when when he put a fire in it. <laughs> Everything the reverse moves. is working. Yeah, the blower works. Yeah, uh, even the firebox doors open and close. But does the blower actually is the blower actually simulated so it will increase the draft over the fire? Uh, yes, it does. Okay. That's um, that's pretty interesting. That's actually that's really cool. Actually, it all sounds incredibly really like advanced. That. To be fair, it does. I'm actually quite interested to see how this thing steams up. Cause I, did, did I hear that you guys like it steams up like a proper steam loco? Like you have to prepare it and everything. Yeah. Well. Yeah. You have to fire it up, and currently there's no you can't there you. Don't need to oil it or anything, but hmm. you have you can check if it's got water. You can see if you've got the cold. Like you can see you've got water in the boiler. You can see how, how much coal's on the fire hmm. and everything. Okay, guys. So um, these guys have, have very kindly allowed us to to light the engine, which will be an interesting experience because I was I was expecting you guys to take over and drive it yourselves, but no. Uh, we're lighting it, so this is going to be interesting. So I've got apparently I've got a shovel and a lighter. So let's have a look. So we, let's, we've got we've got my shovel, and then we've also got my lighter on number two. So uh, if you guys want to sort of let me know or tell me how to do this um, in here. So right, uh, so George, I am cold. as you would in real life. I so beam it from the bunker. Yeah. Yeah. Get it from the tender and put it in the firebox. Right. So uh, I'm guessing if if I put the shovel in there, it should have coal on it now. It looks yep, like it has. If you can see. Yeah. Yeah. And we put it into the into the firebox like that. Look. Oh, look. The coal's gone. Excellent. You have to click, or it just as soon as you... it seems to do do it itself by the looks of things. It seems oh, that's pretty cool. Automatically do it. It kind of registers that you're putting the coal in, which is pretty good. So four scoops. Yeah. So, and then we want a, a third scoop, and there we are, and then we want another scoop here, and there we go, that's in there, it's all sorted there. Ah, uh, what, is that you standing in the fireman's, fireman's um, place and actually rotating? That's cool, that's cool. Right, so next I like up, um, I take it we, we, we shall light it soon, because I'm guessing that uh, this car would have been... Uh, put into like uh, paraffin or something, uh, some sort of uh, yep. lightable fluid that can light up. So, right. click anywhere. Okay. Well, so that's what we'll do. I'll click somewhere. Oh, we've lit in the the yep. lighter. So that's that's always good. And we can see it's all lit up there. Yeah. If you walk up to the box, then press walk backspace whilst facing it. If you might have to click again because if it goes out. Right. Okay, so we're going to light it now. Brilliant. Right. This is done by the backspace. Let's do it. Has it done it? Has it please tell me it's done it. No, it hasn't done it. That's oh, because my light's gone out. Oh, okay. It's, it's lit in it again now. Hey! Ah. Here we are. Look, we've lit in it now. I can see. We've hey, lit nice. Look at that. Oh, we got there in the end. And now, because we've done that, we can Great. close the firebox doors. Oh, look. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. They close. Fantastic. Yeah, that, that, that took a bit longer than it should have done, but hey, I, no, so got there in the end. That's yeah. the main thing. I'm assuming you guys have condensed down the time it takes to light a load. Yeah, 
rather than uh, it taking however many hours it would take, couple of hours, it yeah. takes about five minutes. <laughs> that's that's fine. Okay, so, so now we've litten the loco, we've now just got to wait. Okay, so we've started to um, build up steam now. As we can hear, we can hear that lovely hissing sound, which does sound pretty cool, to be fair. It does. Um, so what's what's the stages next then, lads? What do we do now, now that well, we've uh, started to build pressure? Well, first of all, you put the reverser full forwards, and we'll start releasing the, the brakes, because the brakes on the castle are vacuum, they're vacuum loco brakes. So we'll start releasing the brakes. And you'll see the you'll see the gauge start to go up. Do that again. Do that again. Beam and look at the chimney. Did did I see that the still steam coming out the chimney when you had the ejector open or am I seeing things? Uh there there was. There was I, that's, <laughs> that's impressive. So you have the change in sort of particle effects as well. Yeah. Same with the blower as well. If you guys oh, yeah, look at that. on look at that. if you guys on video Brilliant. want to see what that seems seems like in real um, looks like in real life, I'll send Beam in a video over which you can just overlay and you can see what that looks like. That is fantastic. Uh, look at that. So the gauge you've got in front of you, Dan, is that the back gauge? Yeah, the one that's currently moved up is the back gauge. It's a bit more at the moment it's a bit of a Entry gauge until I fully model the vacuum gauge. Uh, Another working speedo, too. Yeah, on to the right of guys, the speedo, the one that's just in front of the red, in, in front yeah. of the reverser. Of course, you've got the, your pressure gauge off to the left while the fireman. Yeah. That's about it for the gauge. We're almost ready to go now. Yeah. All of the. So, if George releases the handbrake... Oliver! Shush! Okay, I, I can't lie to you guys, this is really impressive already. Hands really cool. Yeah, see what Wait. you mean about the cylinder goal. Oh, it's ripped it! My lords! That is a really good sound. Yeah, that really it's is. It's loud. It's loud as well. It is bloody loud. <laughs> yes, I do apologise if, if, if any of the audience can't really hear us very well right now. This thing is very noisy. Uh, does it have both high and low? Sorry. Oh, there we go. There's the answer. High and <laughs> that, low tone. That sounds so good. And I like how you've got the... I like how you've got the variation in pitch from when how far you've got the regulator open. As you open it more, the, the exhaust gets louder. And yeah. also, so from what I've just heard, does this have a working steam chest then? Because I've ju you've just shut the reg, and it's taken yeah. a while for the actual exhaust pitch to go. Yeah, there you go. So it has a steam chest as well. Yeah. Blimey, me, you guys have really gone to town. I don't even think these these things are even possible in Roblox, but obviously, you know, evidently they are. Yeah. And this is a staff-ran railway, right? So this isn't a public yeah. um, server. This, this railway is, yes. So yeah, yeah staff-ran. But I, as far as I'm aware, there is applications open for the railway. Ollie and Mike can confirm this. Yes, we are currently hiring staff, whether that wants to be signalman, guard, footplate crew. I mean, I would, mm -hmm. honestly, I would love to get involved with something like this, because this is awesome. Yeah. You guys seem to know your stuff, and that's kind of like, it's kind of like doing preservation from home, if you yeah, think about yeah. it. 
Yeah. You'll, you'll see it, our signal's working when you punch the one, because I'm going to leave it at danger and then set the four. Okay. Yeah. You're planning to stop at all at all stations, so please obey all signals. Yeah. The only thing with this is the castle is uh, run by modern George's crew. Okay. Which, I George, George can talk a bit about that, we'll be moving off in a sec. One thing I've got to say to you guys as well is you could always do, you know, if Birmingham Snow Hill was actually never closed, and if the line to Wolverhampton, you could do your own kind of version of that as well. Yes. I mean, I... If you need any, if you need any help with that, if you need any reference material or anything, I can always provide you with that. So I've currently just uh, lowered the volume slightly, so it should be a little bit better for everyone to hear. So it's not like uh, blasting their ear holes, but okay, it still does kind of blast your ear holes. <laughs> this thing is loud, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's realistic. Castles are loud in real life. Yeah, that is realism right there. So we've talked about the loco, but let's talk a bit about the scenery. Uh, from what I, this looks really nice. Oh, uh, there seems to be some wagons and a shed here. We've got class 08 over there, look. Ah. This could be a free diesel depot until we can get around to Ah, we've got a signal here. Uh, Upper quadrant, Great Western ones are right now, I think, or is it lower? Lower. 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 That that so that's set to danger, so that looks pretty nice. So I'm assuming one of you has had to learn how to do animation for all of this. How have you done that? Well, I've been devin on Roblox for coming up to five years now. Okay. So it's just it's a case of you learn, I've learned from doing just, just general, just playing about with stuff and. Oh, castle! Are you going to stop? Yeah, um, with all the stuff on this, it's just learning whilst you go along. That's the way it is with train sim stuff. I mean, I started out with train sim stuff. I started out with reskinning, and I did another hopeless yeah. clue. But now I'm doing things like sound mods, learning Blender. You know, doing roots. That signal you know, animation learned... is very good. That yeah. signal animation, it sort of bounces as well. That's so, very good. With, an with animation in Roblox, is it kind of similar to how you do it in Blender, or is it a completely different kettle of fish? Well, there's the way that this works, it's you, you have it so you set it to a specific angle, so it's all, right. it's all inbuilt into Roblox. Okay. So you don't actually have to animate it with keyframes or anything. Well, that you can do with some stuff, but this way, this way, you don't have to. So this one's a bit more simple. Yeah. That's. I mean, what you learn in Roblox, you can probably translate to other games. Because I think Roblox is like Lua, isn't it, or something? Like yeah, that. Lua. Yeah, so the Lua stuff you've learned for the castle, you could, you know, go and make stuff for train sim with, you could adapt it. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually really impressed, because you guys know your stuff. <laughs> and I wish I knew as much as this. <laughs> so I'm still learning. Yeah. I think it's time to let one of you guys have a go driving. Yeah, excellent. Okay. So, who wants to go first? Uh... I am easy going. It can be either oh. one of us. I'm assuming I hit G. Right, yeah. let me get the key commands up in my other monitor. So if I scroll down, sorry, if I, I'm looking at the wrong thing. So it's A and D for the reverser, W and S for the. Is a reverser in full forward at the moment? Yeah. Okay. Blower is Q. Yeah. Okay. So you, reset the reverse yeah, you probably shouldn't have. You don't have to worry about the um, farming controls because George will worry That's about that. <laughs> yeah, if you you can put your if you put the brake into the off off position, which I don't <laughs> think I include the shortcut. That's P. <laughs> so that the brake release. Yeah, well, that's and the train brake fully over. 
Yeah. And smaller jacks are then lower. Is the cylinder drains open? You left them open and I'm gonna have to No, I not left them open. I've opened I've opened them. Yeah. Okay. So if I roll it into forward. I'm glad, glad you're enjoying it so far. <laughs> Yeah. According to the guard, you're supposed to be stop, oh. go, stop, go, stop, go, stop, oh, go, stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. Got a signal. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Guard whistle. Yeah, right away, driver. Sam is now taken to the control. I'm not thrashing it, I'm doing it properly. <laughs> so, what, so what's your first thoughts on the driving then, Dan? It's actually really good. As I say, it's a bit hard to know where the re reverser is at the moment. Yeah. I'm assuming, as you guys have said, that'll get fixed at some point. Yes. I'm yeah. liking your use of 3D trees here, very nice indeed. Thank you. Yeah, I'd be ca a bit more, a bit careful on this course, it's the tightest corner on the whole railway. Okay. Well, on the main line bit of the railway anyway. <laughs> it's a lovely sound, is that recorded from a real castle in real life? I don't know what it's off because of on Roblox you have just there's a on the toolbox you've just got some sounds on there and it's a sound from there but it that it was labelled GWR four cylinder both though. Whistle So it's gonna be something But the whistle sounds are recordings from a small prairie actually. Yeah, well, to be fair, they have to, they share the same whistle anyway, don't they? Yeah. yeah. The Western whistles are kind of pretty standard on all Western locos. Yeah. And the the cylinder cox recordings, I can't remember where I got them from. I think they're off a video of some narrow stuff. I might have undershot a bit. Yeah. <laughs> And again, the the ejector sounds are off a small prairie as well. I mean, I've got a plethora of Great Western Castle sounds, so yeah. you know, I'm more than happy to donate them. Yeah. Ah, it's Tilly's in the box. Destroy the back. Wait, back. Uh, can the fireman put the handbrake on? Yeah. Or do I have to do that? Right. Un unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to head off now because I've got work in the morning. So That's I've fine. Gonna, yeah. Yeah. Right, George, you know uh, what's driving. Yeah, I'll leave you in the capable hands of, of George. <laughs> he knows. He knows exactly what he's doing. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, Dan. Well, um, right. I'll drop you a message. We'll um, we'll sort yeah. it out with sound wise. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Right, I'll see you all at some point, maybe. I don't... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see you at some point. Yeah, yeah no doubt. Thank, really thank, nice. thank you for this evening, Dan. Yeah. Yes, thanks, thanks very much. Yeah, yeah. Thank, yeah. thank you for coming and reviewing uh, reviewing our loco. <laughs> yeah. Thank Thank That's... you for giving us a loco to review. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, Dan. Ta. The Beeman, uh, I think it's your turn now. My takeover, is it? Let's mm -hmm. have a look see. It is. Why do I have a feeling right. this is going to go terribly wrong? It'll be all right. <laughs> no, it'll be Just fine. Just be aware, Beeman, you'll be going into a bay platform at Watling Point and the coach will be shunted. To I'm going to go and hide in my box. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. As right. long as you don't go through the buffers, you'll be fine. Right. Yeah. Righty-o.
Let's do this. So I press G, yeah? If you look in the hashtag private context chat. Actually, do you know what, Sam? I'll tell you the controls. So the brakes are, do you know where your hashtag and your... So do you know what the normal train sim keys? Yes. So do you know where you've got your pick papa button on your keyboard? Yep. Uh, so the brackets there, one of them should be to release and one of them should be to apply. Oh, yeah, I see. Yep. So if you take one of those across, so all the way. Yep, it seems and to be then animated. If you press R. Yep. That is the. That's the small open. So if you yep. press E now, yep. it should open the large. Oh, there we are. Oh look, our brake, the brake pressure's going up, that's really cool, I like how that moves. Look at that. Cool, isn't it? Wicked. So I'll take it, you shut the large injector off once it's uh, got yeah, you shut the large inject. You shut the large off. So where about, how long do you have this open for? Until it gets to, to about 3pm. Wait, are you talking about 3 p.m. as an actual like no, game no. time? No, we're talking about the pressure, um, the brake pressure gauge. So it, where 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 the um where the handle should be facing. Ah, uh, you mean? All <coughs> oh, right. So you mean you mean PSI? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well, technically, with a brake gauge, I think it would be inches oh, of mercury. I think it is. Mercury, yeah. Right, so, now we shall put our reverser into forward gear, which I'm guessing will be W, right? Yeah, so th with the with the whole driving controls, from what I've gathered, it's the same as the trains in ones. Right, so we want to put that straight into forward, which it, it should be. And yeah, then, if it's not going any more forward, then right. it should be. And then A and D is, I'm guessing, the standard regulator controls. Yeah, so you'll want to open the cylinder drains with... Charlie. Yep. On your keyboard. Lovely, lovely. Right. Oh, you got the right way. Right so the the whistles are the sliders. Do you see the sliders in the bottom left? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the bottom one was high tone. Oh, there we, are, we are. There you go. Right, let's give it a go then. Off we are. Off we go. Is <laughs> George taking the handbrake off? I think he has. It looks like it. His face. What? Damn, the wind reverse back a tiny bit. Yeah, it's winded back a bit. Yeah. And what you should really do is if Oh it's okay, got so, so, so basically it, it 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 kind of it so it starts to stop as you obviously shut the reg, it kind of breaks itself almost, doesn't it? That might have been the handbrake on. Um what you would do in reality uh, is you would, when you shut the reverse, you crack the blower. I don't know if you guys are going to implement that at some point. I suppose the person to speak to that about that would probably be Dan. Yeah. It actually feels nice to drive, to be fair. It feels just like TS. Am I right in thinking, have you guys implemented, so now that you're at this kind of speed, you can shut the... Um, because if uh, because the way of a Great Western Loco works is it's got a vacuum pump and yeah. you can shut the small ejector if it's after about 15 mile an hour, 15, 20. What are your thoughts on the um, what are your thoughts on the driving experience? I think it's brilliant. It, it is, is brilliant. Yeah. Fire on like that. Absolutely brilliant. 
I mean, looking at the scenery as well, the like vegetation you've got on the line side. Of it. Yeah, this area, I can tell this area has been more developed, isn't it? Yeah. Oops, right. Sam, you yeah. might want to stop. Yep, don't worry, I'm slowing up. There we are. I saw it. Don't worry. My intention. Uh, um, shunt, I think. Yeah, the shunt yeah. signal lets you into the bay platform. Okie dokie. So we got the shunt, yep. Yeah, we've mm -hmm. got the shunt. Lovely jubbly. We shall release our brake again. If you press E. No need to, we need to get our build off of brake pressure again, don't we? Yeah. This is really cool, this is. I love the simulation on this. You guys have done a really good job. Should have warned you about the shunt signal when you were at uh, Old Oak. Hey, root burning, don't worry about it. We'll get there in the end. Yeah. So, Sam, have you brought your brake pressure up? Yeah. Yep, my hand. There you go. So, as before, wind the reverse, fall, fall forward, and do what you did before. Yep. I mean, Sam, what you can do is, because obviously you're still learning how to drive Steam Locos in train sim, you can use some of this knowledge and take it back. Mm. Take it back to learning. Yeah, I'm not the best in the means of driving steam locos, I will admit that. I'm more of a, a diesel driver myself. But that's just because... I mean... Uh, you're doing a pretty good job. Oh, we've got another... Yeah. Looks like we've got another steam engine over there, look. It's like a terrier, Sam. It is. Look at that. You love terriers, don't you? Yeah. And there looks to be... Look at Holly, that. is that one of your models? Yeah. The nice. little... The, the loco on the... Oh, the loco on the turntables. Ollie's models. Oh, lovely, look at that. Oh, wow. Is that the one that's... Is that Dave, or... No, that a different that's, one? that's PLA, that's the PLA I started doing. It hasn't made it in TS yet. Dave's also okay. coming to the game. Dave, yes. And if you look over by the Colin says you've got my Black 5. Well, um, we'll take a look. Is this a Roblox mod? Uh, is this a CSG that's model? That's cool. That was, that yes, no. Uh, the only the only CSG model on this is down stuff. Everything else is mesh. mesh. Oh okay. hey, Oliver, can you teleport me? Hold on. Let, yeah, maybe that, that wasn't that wasn't the best stop in the world at hey, all by any Beeman, means. you're learning. You're learning. Don't worry, Beeman. Let me delete um, the van so you can clear the points because someone put new vans here which weren't supposed to be here. One of the devs did. Right. So now that we've experienced the lovely castle, we're going to have a little look round. This station, yeah. which I'm loving. I've already, already can say I'm loving the G GWR seats. These the look benches. really smart. Yeah. Very nice texturing on them, I must say as well. While we're sat down here, I'm just going to use the toilet. I'm sure there's a toilet on the station somewhere. It doesn't seem to have a building, but I'm sure you'll. They'll maybe in the pub over the over the road. Looks like a pub over the road. George, I need to pull the coaches for you. So, I assume the... These coaches, are they Mark IIs? Is that what you've got the... Or are they Mark... Yeah, they're Mark IIs, aren't they, I'm guessing? I believe so, yes. Yeah, they look very Mark II-y. The ones that were on the service train were Mark IIAs, I believe. Yeah. Fair. Yeah, it's the like... ones. Very nice. Hence why the loco can, um, yeah, hence why the loco can pull them. Because they were <laughs> dual fitted unlike the Mark IIe's. Yeah. The Mark IIe's are the later aircon ones which were, which were air only. One of the things I just want to, like, say that is really, really good is, is the track. I'm, I'm guessing this, yeah. was, this, this was custom built as well, this track. Um, so some of it isn't custom built, but the mesh rails are. Basically, it's... So the... It uses someone else's base, but the rails were done by me, and I kind of kind of built the track up to look more realistic. Yeah. It looks really good. So it does look really nice. I like it. Good old bullhead track as well. You know, proper preserved railway track. Gives that. Funny thing is, the stuff in my local yard is that. Ah. Bullhead. Is it? And it's still got wooden sleepers. It's probably my favourite style of track, I would say, because I just think it looks it looks the nicest, personally. Well, yeah. Um, I believe they've started using that for model railways now, haven't they? Yes, yeah, they have. Yeah. 
Oh, here comes Yeah, Pico, the... Pico do a really nice ball head track. Me looking to get in that for when I start my model out. Go for it. Don't get the Hornby stuff, get the Pico stuff. I would have told you that anyway. I mean, yeah, you have. So, so here at uh, Watlington, we also have uh, 3D signs, which look incredibly nice as well. Very nicely done. Although these these are like two signs sort of stacked up against each other and not necessarily double sided signs, are they? These particular ones. Are these ones you've done in Blender, Ollie? Nope. Not a okay. friend of mine. Mm. And we've got really some nice. nice. We've got some really nice signals as well. The signals do look really smart. Mm -hmm. I must say. I'd love to have these signals in TS. That, yeah. Oh, I know we, you we, would. We need some new signals in TS, m yeah. one. Yeah, I need the some ones I found are the Welsh Marches ones. Yeah, they are yes. very nice. Yeah. yeah, we've got George dancing apparently, on top of the sign there. Look, there he is. Apparently, the new GAD update for West of England is going to include some Western region signals. I heard that as well as Mon. I think Monty spoke to me about yeah, that. Yeah, for Yeovil. Yeah. You're the only person I know that can actually work the codes on those. Yeah, they're annoying. He gave me the whole. He gave me the whole booklet on how to do it. Mate, I can't make heads or tails of that. I'll have to teach you at some point. Good, I need someone to actually help me signal my route. Yeah? We well, finally made it to Cardiff. Hey, nice. We'll discuss that later. Oh, mm. I'd like to have a go at firing. <laughs> hey, Oliver, is anything going up the Collie branch? Not, no, they're trying to down from the Collie branch. Um, I've not been up here yet, that's it. Terry has gone to sleep. So the terror, the terror is going to be serviced. Um, rather inconvenient, if you ask me. Can we? Wow. Church. Can we, um, before we go back, can we have a look at the sheds? Because this oh, the sheds I want to have sure. a look at this black guy. Yeah. I've just popped yeah. back, so I was going to recommend having a look over there. Yeah, okay. So, I believe the Black Flow's been out recently for a memorial event, hasn't it, Oliver? If, if you walk down the platform, you can enter the sheds via the little park area. Ah, oh, we need to get the veg, we need to get the veg. Ah, oh, the wooden train, my lord! Sam, it's yeah. brash! Play I up. assume there's been a bit of Digcot influence over here. Yes, I was Just a little bit. Yeah. This is it. Uh, it's like the kids oh, play area. Oh, wow. Demon. Got the coal stage. Oliver. Oh, the coal stage. This, 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 this is smart. Oh, yes. That's this cool. Is. Have you seen Sam. the inside? Yeah, I'm looking at it now. Look, they've even got all the lumps of coal and everything. And yeah. the lights look proper nice as well because it's reflecting. Yeah, this is this is smart in here. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this, oh, is wow. this is definitely this is definitely Didcot style. Yeah, this is yeah. Didcot style. Yeah, this is, this is a great you Western. Can, you can tell that it's been influenced from it. Yeah. Well, that's a cup of tea. Yeah, yeah, Beeman, we were got it right earlier. There is a prairie over there. Yeah, yeah, because we sort of uh, had a brief look uh, before coming on, and we saw the prairie in the distance. Well, what we thought was a prairie. Yeah, it is ah. small prairie. So here I am standing outside the black, well, of the black five, which uh, looks, this, this looks fantastic. I've got to, I, oh, I wow. can't, yeah, I, this, this is beautiful. Um, so, yeah, this is wonderful. I, 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 yeah, it is. Um, who made so this? Just... Was this? Was this you, Ollie, who made this? Yep. Because, yeah, is that, this... that is stunning. Is this a blender model? Yep. Yeah. Bloody hell. This, this is something else, I must say. Man, you've got really good. Thank you. You've done really well. This is awesome. Okay, well, the cab is absolutely fantastic as well. I must say. And it has the a whistle. cab detail is insane. Auto tank going up there. Yep. Good old 1400. Oh, lovely. Look at that. The detail is just insane. This Pereira is very nice as well. Yeah, look at that. Just all of it is You know, this just kind of shows like what kind of stuff you can make in Roblox. I mean, yeah, you know, it's 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 evolved. Because bear in mind that Roblox was originally designed for 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 the younger generation. Like it's more like a kids game, wasn't it? But 
nowadays it's kind of evolved to kind of incorporate in all ages, isn't it? It's you know, like it's, it's a, a game of, it, yeah. yeah. It's a game of all ages now. And I think it's it's marvellous. Right, so this here at the back of the shed here, I'm, I'm assuming this is a packet of yeah. some kind. Yeah. Are you coming, Jacob? Well, I'm trying the turntable. Not going to... Wait, no, oh, no. This wow. is a this is a H and L saddle tank, four four and a Leslie. So this is uh, this kind of gives me train sim vibes. I've got one of these chase water, if I'm not wrong. What? I think... Yeah, they do. Yeah, it's a red one. Numbers. I can't remember the number of it. Incredibly smart. Looking in the cab. Bloody hell. Okay, so the cab does look quite quite nice as well. Okay, the nice cab, a nice bit of detail in here. Um, it says yeah. it says that apparently this steam locomotive is actually operational right now, but I'm it's obviously I'm not going to move it. So, you know. Um, but yeah, this has the old style scripting with the notches instead of the new style ones that you guys have been working on in it. Um, yep. Mm. Yeah. Is the pannier tank the one in? Yeah, it's stuck, isn't it? Fifty-seven for you. Yep. Beeman, that's the one I've got preserved on my railway. <laughs> oh, that's a nice whistle. Right, you have a choice. You can either fire the castle back, or you get a driver black five back. Oh, yeah. oh. Beeman, what do we choose? If you pay extra, you get to have both. Mm. Yo. No. Oh. I mean, we could try double head the black five on the castle. It, it, permission to go Stania. But then, to be yeah. fair, though, wouldn't but, have they got two different scripts though, or are they the same? Different scripts, but we can get to, they, they, we can get them to work together if me and me whoever me or whoever's driving communicate. Oh, fair, fair. You know what? I think in that case, it should be Mr. Arna's decision, seeming as he hasn't driven anything yet. Yeah, because that, that being said, this is supposed to be a castle review, isn't it? Yeah. True. Sorry, true. Black Five. <laughs> We true. can. Maybe, maybe another time for that. I suppose. Billy, you're yeah, going to be doing a better job than Jack is. Oi! <laughs> That's what I like. You guys joke with each other. Classic. Oh yeah, the um, the point levers are simulated with sound as well. Oh okay. That's well, a so nice little so bit of I, detail. So if I switch this, it should yep. make yep. a noise. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Let's have a look at this castle then. Oh, nice. So we've got a Great Western 3500 gallon tender here. Okay, so Dan is going to be lighting the fire of Kefili Oh, I've got a shovel. Yeah. So what, just like that? Yeah, yep. you can bring that up to 500. It's on 545. 550 will do. 550 will do. Okay. okay. And then what do we... Now grab your lighter. And do what light, Beeman did light, earlier. Light, yeah, light it and then backspace. Nope. Oh, it's kind of like Derail Valley where you drop the lighter there in the go. firebox. Yeah. And there it is. It's lit. Now, you, now you press X to shut your doors. That's epic, okay. isn't it? That's still open. That is pretty cool. There you go. Oh, so, so X is to open and close right. okay what's the pan you're doing i'm moving it onto the same rose prairie just so it's out of the way so what 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 do you know the dumb the number what should i be keeping it around about 500 Oliver, why has Pania just got great on this tank? It's pretty glitch. It's a great loco. And the water. Yeah, yeah, has, <laughs> the water's full at the moment, but I'm assuming it. Does it oscillate? Oh, you'll see. You'll see. Okay. Right. Stop, Castle. George, what are you doing? I think probably one of the coolest things about this is how you can actually fire the loco you know and you can actually yeah. steam it up and and it works properly that 
not many Roblox games actually have that feature. I think it's, this is probably the first one I've ever seen that have that, that has that feature. I think it's, it's the immersion factor, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Instead of just pushing a button, per se. Can't have too many photos, can you? Oh, yeah. It's got the best loco ever. It's got a pannier tank. Wow. Forget the castles, it's all about the pannier now. <laughs> we were the back of the Great West. See, that's, that's why the pannier tank says great on the side. Right, George, are you using Kafeli to pilot this train? I think it'd look better because of the small because of the thirty five hundred yeah. gallon tender. All right, yeah. If pilot yeah. train, I'll go get Great Western on the front of this one. So you guys are saying that you've got Earl of Mount Edgecombe as well? We did. You did. Yeah, the Earl was at uh, transport tech. Ah. Maybe it's still there? Yes, it, the cannon is it's still there. <laughs> So, uh, Sam Arna, uh, obviously we haven't really heard your, much of your thoughts on the castle, so what, what do you Yeah, think sorry, I've sort of taken a back foot yeah. in that YouTube. Yeah, what do you think to it? What is your thoughts and opinions on it? Well, as uh, I, I said, oh, you covered most of the bases. It's it's just phenomenal, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It is. Yeah. Like, I'm like, loving this. The, and, and you were saying how um, the scripting is probably the long part that made the... Uh, took the longest, sorry. And it, it shows, like, that it's been time very much well spent. No doubt. Look, there's a war coming out the side as well. So which, which one's to turn the injector on? Is it J? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Eddie's to turn the water on. Look at that, it actually comes out the side of the engine. And does it actually pick up? Oh, yes, that makes sense. Well, I'll try that out once, um... Hey Ollie, do you want me to go back on to Old Oak? Yeah. So, what's the plan of action now then, George? We're still, I'm assuming, we're still waiting for it to... Yeah. Should I just <laughs> set the road ready, Oliver? Or should yeah. I wait for the box? You're going to have a light engine cast because it's going to, ser it's going to be serviced. So, Dan, what's the plan of action? Uh, me? Yes. I think it sounds uh, like we're going to get this loco over to the coaches, from what I can read. Yeah, so we're going to have 7027 and... Not 7027, sorry. 7007. And 5... And 4073, double header in, Sam. So oh, nice. 4073 is going to be piloting the train. Yeah, so that's right. gonna, that, Yeah, that's going to wait there. 7007 is going to come back down. It's run away to the server. While you're still fully up, they took it to the server. And because there was too much going on at the third they took it. Okay. Does, um... So, when it blows off, it actually blows off? Yeah. Okay. I would have thought so. Once it, does it blow off at the pressure it would on an actual castle? Or mm. is it a bit lower? It might be a bit lower, I think. That's about does it? Does it? How does How does does it sort of like feather before fully fully going off? Or is it just an instant? Well, uh, judging, I'm not sure if they have the feather or not because I haven't really seen much steam coming out the safety valve at the minute. So yeah. I'm guessing it'll probably just go off. It's only at 160 pounds of, um, at 160 pounds of um, steam at the moment, so it's still building up. Q and S is to blow up. Uh, Q, Q, okay. So I'm definitely uh, really impressed with how the how it acts, you know, the the physics of it, you know, the, how it steams up, and how it drives there as well. There we go. That means we have uh, reached. Pressure, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So she's now oh. ready to move off. We've got about 130 pounds on the clock.
I love this. I mean, I've said it many times, but I genuinely think it's awesome. Like, the scripting band's gone into it. Yeah. Like I say, it's really showing it. It's been time well spent. Right there. Okay, so now we are on the turntable. We shall turn around. Oh. Okay, so now we are on the turntable. We shall turn around. Oh. So do you guys do like public runnings during certain periods for public to be able to we join? And we do occasionally do public runnings when our like we've done a major update to the game. Oh, we want to test it. Yeah. At the moment, it's not publicly open. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. Kind of a, date, a, a date for your diary. We kind of get in a pre-release, then that's pretty cool. So is it, they, do you have plans to do like public days, like events and stuff like that, or? We do, yes. Yeah, yeah. Kafili Castle, you're being shunted into the bay platform. It is blowing off, but I have got the injector. A quick, a quick so, date, just to mention a quick date for everyone's di diary: the seventh and eighth of September will be our official grand opening. Okay. Um, this will be a gala. There will be pistol engines. Ooh. And all of our operational home fleet will be in service during the day. Oh, lovely. It, it will include the prairie. Yay. Include everything you see, pretty much. It will be a combination of passenger, express, non stop passenger trains, express trains, express goods, um, all sorts of things will be going on. Even mainline excursion coming in from the mainline. Do you have yeah. plans to expand? No. Or are you just struggling to run what you've got as it is? Pretty much that. Would we be alright to have, have a look in the signal box? Because yeah, you can have a look in oh, Old Oak if you want. And George, what you said, yeah, sure. Well, Ping me over an invite. What can like, be a bit more convenient, don't you think? Thing is, old oak's easier to understand. <laughs> so that they can always have a look when they get get here on the train. All right. And here is the other castle. I'm guessing that's going onto the turntable. Yes. Yeah, it's got to turn around. Is it just me, or is these injectors not working? Well, well, water I can't see the water's coming out the side when you do it. So. I can't see the. Okay, no, it's just trick. Yeah, no, no, never mind. I'm being stupid. Yeah, I can see the. I couldn't see the number going down on the tender, but. There we are. One castle passing the other. Hey, it kind of went for effect. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, hello. Veg. What? Who's veg in the castle? <laughs> this sounds good, doesn't it? It does. Are we actually going to have enough space to fit up? Oh, yeah, you will. You, will. you won't fit in the platform, but you will fit in the, the rounds. Right. The, the points. 
one way or another. No, no, yeah. don't sing that. Your video corrupted. <laughs> no, I, I altered the lyrics slightly. Oh, God's sake! SMH can't take you anywhere. <laughs> Right away! Let's go! Is that train coming now? Oh no, no we're just shunting onto no. the front of the train. Okay. Shunting onto the front of the train. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea for someone to try to stream on so we can see what's going on. I, I, will, let, I will let you know when the train is heading your way. Oh no, I can't arrange that. Never mind. Well, this shall certainly be an interesting run, that's for sure. Oh, I'll tell you what, the scenery around here is really nicely done. It is. Yeah. It really is, yeah. Like, we've got... That water texture down there is really nice. I mean, it's just... I mean, that's, that's proper water in it as well. It's not just, like, animated and everything, isn't it? What I've liked as well is all the little details. Like, you've got, you've got just little figures everywhere. Little figures, little bits of different bits yeah. of bushes and grass, all sorts going on. And this is a nice little bridge and little stream. I think it's just yeah gives it gives it character. Exactly. Oh, absolutely. And it's been captured very well. How long have you guys been working on this game then? A month. Too long. A month. Really? Really? A, a month? month. Oh, That's yeah. good. Well, right. not even a month yet. Not even a month yet. On the night oh, I was going to say a couple of weeks. Yeah, on the That's impressive. Right. And to confirm, how many people overall are on this project? Start with me, Jacob. Um, Jack does a bit of work now and again. Yep. Uh, and there's another two people who've just recently joined our dev team. Um, yeah. Very, very recently. They've only done smaller bits but they have helped quite a bit um the Watlington redesign was done mainly by them was right. it mainly no i didn't know that like with a few bits about like you know the, the, the brand siding play park okay right so well, what's the plan here then well drivers if you're ready i will give you the road old oak signal box you have a express passenger heading your way Handbrake off for me. So we are calling at a signal box, aren't we, en route? <laughs> yeah, that is up to the signalman at Old Oak whether he's going to stop the train. Let's go. Oh, look at this. This is pretty hellfire. It is. Oh my god, the noise! It's hellfire. Yeah. Yeah, some, uh, there's definitely some serious noise going on here, isn't there? Yeah, it sounds awesome. Ah! Oh! My lord! My lord! <laughs> I'll tell you what, two of them together sounds better than one of them. Also, that's the sound of eight cylinders, essentially. Yeah. Well, I can't help noticing that we're going very slow, but yet jumping really fast. Has anyone else got that? It's got some sort of scale speed. Looking, and I'm just looking behind me, and I can just see the other castle. It looks awesome. Yeah, that's the fun part about this tender, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow, I don't think that they should be going this slow and stuffing that fast. Yeah. So is is is, is, is there a problem here? Yeah, robots being slow. It's not a problem with the game. It's, it's a roadblock issue then, yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay, look, they're starting to speed up slightly. So 
so I am closing Watlington Box and I'm heading to Clamberdon. Right. I'll let you know when they leave. Thank you. Also, I do apologise if I am shouting. It is incredibly noisy. It's just Sam um, vegging. <laughs> I'm sure you guys will get this all sorted at some stage. Yeah. Right, we need to stop. Stop. Uh, that's what you ordered. They're being held at Aldo, apparently. Oh yes, you wanted to do this. Oh, yes. you've got a way of doing the network ownership. I see. That's what you just said. Right, yeah, we're going to make this a lot quicker. If Dan's got it set up correctly. It's like at certain points it will get faster and then it just starts being slow again. Oh, yeah. also be the corners. Yeah, I, I know, it, I can tell it's Roblox. Yeah. I mean, it was just one of them. them for me. So I suppose it's not just the locos, it's all these coaches as well. Yeah. George, put your brake on and we'll do it here. So, even though that the locos are causing a bit of trouble right now, it uh, goes for a great op photo opportunity, isn't it, really? Well, that's a bit better. This line is very picturesque. I think that's the correct word. Oh yes, I'd agree with that. <laughs> I have strong internet now. You're all running off my internet. Oh, that's good. very kind of you. Why? Old Oak signal box, you have someone in front there. Do you, do you know what's really typical about this? I need somebody. <laughs> we've, we've, li we've literally got up to speed and we're going to have to stop because we want to have a look around this signal box, isn't it? <laughs> this is, this is the tragic part of Elkit, isn't it? Someone want to fix the tender? Gosh. Oh! Okay, so I've just noticed that this uh, old oak station is you've got a really nice sort of Mark 1 coach just sat there. It's like a very really worn out looking coach. Yeah, I noticed that as we were passing by the first time. I like that. It's got, it's got a nice not to be moved board on it. I always approve of one of them. Uh, yeah. Where's his signal box then? Oh, it's over it's up the other end. We're going to have to go through the front, round the front. Yes, we all have high visits. You may, you may all have you may all have PTS. I've got a Yippee. PTS in real life, so I'm sure it'll be fine. So this station, does it have an interior? or not, can you not? No, not yet. No, not yet. It not looks like you're going to. Yeah. Oh, there's a little geezer yeah. there, look. look at him. There he is. Yeah, that's Ollie. Is it actually? <laughs> that's, that's, that's 2016 Ollie. No. Yeah, 2016 Ollie. Uh, not, not to move forward. Yeah, so as I've got a high visibility... Visibility? Best. <laughs> visibility. I can, I, can walk, I can walk across the track, yeah. Hello, uh, I've come to invade your signal box. Be my guest. There we go. Ah, <laughs> you see? You see? Oh. You've been locked actually, in. Actually, no, oh. you can grab a token oh, for me, thank you. Oh, yes, please. Oh, yes, tokens work. Well, when I say they work, I, I mean I you can I take I them I off first. I'd quite like a token. If you could hand it to my fireman who's currently running away from the signal box. Well, I'll tell you what, what, this has really nice Wait, detail so in here, doesn't it? Oh, Does this indeed. all completely work, then? So every yes. single lever? Yep. If somebody yeah. was in Clamberton Box, every time you hit the left one, they would hear it and vice versa. Yep. If you would like to pull uh, lever 14, you'll get a nice surprise. We can we can demonstrate if you want, just send me a random code. Exactly. Look outside the window. Oh look, the, the signal's gone off. Right. And if you'd like to pull it out. Oh, that's, e that's epic. 
I love and how that operates. The try sound. and pull lever seven. I oh, won't be able to because seven. I need. I won't, I, I won't be able to because I need to unlock it first with the blue one. Exactly. The, the points are correctly locked, or well, they have the locking mechanism. I should say. You know what? I'd love to get involved with the signaling. I love that. If you apply, we'll definitely get you through that. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. This is this is brilliant. This really is. Yeah, you want yeah, that to be is... reset so you can get the castle out. You are. You want that um, to be reset so the castle can go out. So that's all fine. Now then, save my job and save my back. Do you want to pull lever eleven? Okay. Save my job and save my back. Lever I mean, five. He might... So you might as well get us to do the work for him while we're here. <laughs> and you are set to depart. Right. Uh, I'm going to... Does anyone else want to have a go at fire? Because I'm really interested in this. <laughs> right, Mr. Honor. Mr. Honor, if you'd like to go and do some firing, because I am absolutely terrible at firing, and I'm not confident no, with yeah. it. Bye-bye. So... See you later. Have a good time. Yeah, well. So, just to confirm, you are running non-stop through Clamber, then, yes? Non-stop to the top. Dropping the coach off, then the two cars come back down light engine. Why did you go down there? No, I was going to straight into that section. We can use that. And we do that. What should we do? Two cars. So we only send us two one time as the train is out of section. We'll do two one. And then we set lever five. And we set lever eleven now. That train is five. And lever five stays down. Oh wait, no, I've got one yeah. yeah, bell goods can be a little bit unreliable, but that's just down to yeah. It's not... Honestly, this is the most I've made it clear. I think it's typically a bit... I think it's a bit of a bit they normally get the money. And like, yeah. Right, is that out of section? Yeah, two one. Reset lever five, and that's done. Now, if you hold on a second down, do seven five five. Are you close to the box? I've got the train coming down. I'll do open the box after. How's the firing experience going then, uh, Mr. Arno? Um, can someone tell me if I'm doing it correctly? Give me two minutes. Daniel and Joe. Open your door, just act and then trouble the lot. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, to open and close your firebox door is X, I believe. Yeah, and now I just click on it. Ah, okay. To be honest, I wish he came on and had a look, but he's yeah. busy. Okay, so here we are at the end of the line. Um, and basically, our coaches don't fit in a loop. So what have we got to do, lads? Well, I'm going to bring a special treat now, especially for you, Mr. Beerman. We're going to have a 33 come around and Trent release us. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, that sounds... That sounds pretty well oh, fine. Oh, blast. Uh huh. What's right. for? There is no belt. Hang on a minute. There is. Can you get the four is. For me? Oh, wait, no, I've done the wrong one. That's for class one. Crompton Veg. No, George, you can rescue it. So, hang on. Are you sending a light engine to me? I think that's what's happening, isn't it? No, I've got to take the diesel down. Actually, no, 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 no. I, I can put these coaches in the mainline factory. Is the, is the diesel coming from Watlington or? 
No. no it's currently no, attached to the other end. So I'm looking at it and it's oh. very nice. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really fine. confused. There's nobody in... Um, nothing is coming out of Watlington, so I got really right. confused. So, so, look at this cab. The cab looks really nice in the 33, to be honest. Who, who did right. the cab? Well, did you guys model the cab? Right. Nope. Special, special thanks guys to Time Lord for the 33. My lord. Oh, so Harvey, Harvey modelled it. Harvey modelled it. Fair. Yeah, Harvey. Oh, you don't know Harvey? Okay, that's alright then. Yeah, yeah we we're know him. quite. Because of GCR. Mm. Yeah. Also, uh, yeah. he did our 20 for Northern Connect. Because I'm yeah. a developer on Northern Connect, so. Oh, nice. So, technically, I'm having my first experience driving a car, so it's just through a field. Don't question <laughs> it. <laughs> Ah, so they'll be fine. Don't you worry. Doesn't matter where you're going. It's just some beep beep from one castle. We can get you Nah, I'm not. I'm. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Not entirely convinced on these sounds. Oh, they. Three. Yeah, they're very. Yeah, they're not perfect. No, they aren't. They aren't proper thirty-three sounds. No, it's not going up there. That's how that's what the model came with when Time Lord oh Harvey sent it to us. Yeah, it's just sort of. Well, it almost sounds like a two-second loop, just like over and over again. It's yeah. You know, I'm sure if you ask Sam nicely, you can maybe provide. Yeah. Are you Bang putting? Are you putting coaches on the main line? Okay, you passed the point. You can back up now. Also, for some reason, the exhaust is in the wrong place. It should be on the right side or the left side, is it? Yeah. Yeah, that's, mm. that's a bit odd. It's right in the centre. Okay, castle, go on, give it a beam backwards. Beans inbound. Beam out? Oh, never mind. There you go, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Is it trains yeah. that has the... No, I think we're driving in the air now. Hold on. Beam, is it trains that has the warship, um, the warship with yeah. the 35 sounds? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there you go, George. Quite nice. Uh, mm. Hang on a minute, it's just occurred to me. 33065, that's the Spa Valley one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this was part of um, Harvey's game, isn't it? The, the, the Spa Valley one that he stopped yeah. developing for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you told us about this. Turn table eight sets to get ready on the pump and brakes. What am I having? Am I having an express or a stopping passenger? You're having a light engine. What's the 33? Yeah. Nope. Uh, well, actually, 33 can come down as well, actually. I, I, I can tug the 33 on and pull them over the castles. My lord. Go on, castle. Keep going. I'm being delicate. I can get you back on the road. easy. Yes, go on. Come on. Okay guys, so thank you for watching our video on the Watlington Light Railway and it's a massive thank you to the guys here who have invited us along to have a look at their game and have a look at their fabulous new castle models. Cheers. Shut up Beeman. Um, you missed There we go, there we go. So guys, so much thank you for having us. Uh, You're welcome really Daniel. Really Thanks party. very much. You're welcome really really good good Beeman, you know, we, we'll torch him alive in there, you know. Yeah, oh, thanks. Can I be head of the electric? Nice! We'll, we'll nice. See, I'm, sure, I'm sure you can, you know. I'm sure we'll, you see, we'll see Beeman flying out the chimney soon. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for having us. Uh, Beeman, I'm sure you've got a face full of soot at the moment, so... Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. George, yeah. thank you for your tutorings. Yes. As George, well. you've been a, you, George, you've been a star. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Comment, like, and subscribe, guys. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll drop a link in I'm the description say, down below. And I say, remember, opening gala, 7th and 8th of September, which is this there weekend. Go, go this there, Wednesday go to this it. Wednesday and Thursday. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video, and I suppose that's it, really. Yeah. Thank you. See you in the next one. So, do you see where the number plate is? Do you see where the number plate is, and you've got the red dot for loading gauge? Yes, yeah. You... Oh, right, God. Well, God's sake. Uh, can you see what it actually says? Click anywhere. Okay. Well, so that's what we'll do. I'll click somewhere. Oh, we've litten. 
the the yeah. lighter so that's that's always good and we can see it's all litting up there yeah if you walk up to the box then press walk backspace whilst facing it if you might have to click again because if it goes out okay there we are i think that's that, that done it no if you press backspace backspace right Right, this doesn't do anything at the minute, is it? Right, Beeman, you need oh, yeah. to be pretty centre and a bit in, George has said. All right, yep, yeah. okay. Right. Guys, which is the backspace key again? The one of Aventa. Right, okay, gotcha. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> I, I don't want to sound stupid. I was press. I was pressing enter. Of course, I was pressing enter. <laughs> enter right, is an edit right. it out. Oh, okay, we'll just we'll just edit that out and pretend that just edit did, that not, out. did not happen. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Is there another edit down? <laughs> yeah. Right. I'll pull forward a bit more, just so I can shunt release you. All right. Thank you. Is the terrier gonna pull all of that? Yes. Okay. So it's the not, a terrier okay. pulled load eight on the bluebell recently. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> it, just shot, it just oh, shot off! Yeah, I noticed that's been simulated because if you're not connected to a train sound, don't yeah. forget. Yeah. That you know, like loads a lot there. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, we've got it's a nice table. sound whistle board here, which just sort of sat there, casually doing its thing. We've also got some music in the background, which is pretty cool. I'm. Kind of assuming the pannier in the shed isn't supposed to be on its side. You are. Yeah, yeah I'm, the I'm... pannier in the shed. It's not supposed to be on oh, its yeah. side. Oh yeah, it's yeah. fallen in the pit. Yeah. Wow. It waddled. <laughs> Damn, why do you think I like the pannier so much? Who's that, then? Ah, oh, here comes the 1400. And here's the 1400. Yes, the 1400 has arrived in shed. Someone please clear a row, the Black Five's coming on shed. Oh, what's the name of this? Oh, it's Oliver. Fun enough, and I'm guessing you built this model, yeah? Again, yep. yeah. Well, Ollie did. In uh, Bender. Hence, hence the name. <laughs> oh yeah, the reference. Yeah. The level of detail is insane. Definitely has nothing to do with the RWS. Nah, I don't Not know what you're at all. about. Nah. Nah. So neither does the Pannier tank. It is. Uh, do these all have the old style scripting then on these by the looks of things? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. that's why they sort of uh, shoot off. Oh. Mm. Well, we'll ignore Tilly just to out the Pania tank, but yeah. Go Move slowly. The lack of communication here is shocking. Is there anything coming from Watlington, yes or no? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, we're currently uh, in the, I don't know, someone else can decide where we are. No, there's nothing coming from Watlington, like I can go down, I'm moving oh, down there. Hang on a minute. We're not on. I think the point was set against us. We'll just end it sound, don't worry. Oh yeah. Mind you, he did pass a red. He did get told to spank He got told to. Yeah. Wellington box. So it turns out my, my hijinks with the fire has caused it to die, so apologies about that. Really, I, I still need a lot of learning to do. <laughs> I've just got these signal box codes on my second monitor. Yeah, George, if you turn around and go into the um, siding over there, and I'll turn around, then I'll. 
then I'll turn around and we'll go and leave. Go and leave. Wait for the pellet to be and we'll go back later. This castle literally only just fits on the turntable. Well, it's well sized then, turntable. Was that 666? Six, six? No, that was supposed to be 555, five, five, but I had a bit of lag. Alright. What even is 666? Six, six? The devil. I don't know. That, that's <laughs> it's like this. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I could give you an emergency alarm. Um. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Ah. What, 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 They've just what, done an Oliver. What was the, 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 how, what, how? Great Western has just done an Oliver. What? Oh, he's fallen in the turntable well, hasn't he? <laughs> yep. No. Major oof. No, we have not. Right. I know what you mean. Right, I'm just going to walk away. You want to know what you need? You need the portal music in the signal box. See, we didn't turn off. Okay, either. well, the injector won't turn off, so... <laughs> oh, let me go turn the injector off, otherwise it's just going to run dry. I, I was trying to turn it off and I couldn't. Both of them are on We've just been buggy. Enemy in the end, in the end. Oh, there we go. Right. right. I'll stand here and get ready to shut the door on Mr. Beamer. Right. Mm. Okay, right that's... Yeah. That was a bit early, wasn't it? No, a bit early. <laughs> <laughs> What's it? Do you guys like my cap? Yeah. Like my hat. Right. It's um, it's from the Ooh. original Central Trains game <laughs> from Ooh. like f years ago. Easy bucket. Right. Ready, Beeman? Yep. He's yeah. standing on his shoulder. Yep, oh, right. no mind. <laughs> okay, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I want to say a thank you to the Watlington team for having us aboard and just showing us around their game and showing off their beautiful new castle models for Roblox. So, thank you very much, guys, for inviting us along. You're welcome. You can come again. Cheers. Thank you very much. And <laughs> Beeman. <laughs> wow. Thanks, guys. But then never mind. Uh, thanks, guys. You know for having us. We've really appreciated it, and you've been good, good, get good hosts. We've enjoyed having you here. Thank you very much. Um, I'm sure we'll make more videos on this as time goes on. You know, as you progress the game. Yeah, that's that's I mean, that guys. That's really annoying when it does that. It, it mucks up the camera. We might have to do it again. The oh. plan was that it was supposed to be that at the end. Yeah, yeah I don't know who's doing it now. I'm yeah. just trying to shut him in. Now my, now my character's moved. <laughs> I think yeah. we should do the funny thing where I'm like, shut up, demon. Regain <laughs> control. Oh, f. It's too big of a step for you, demon. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Right. right. Uh, so, three, shift, two, shift one. P again. Right. Right, shift, P. shift P, camera, power. Go lights, camera, action, then record. Right. Okay, guys, so. This has been... Oh, sh**. <laughs> right, hang on. Let me just do it again. Right. right.